Danny Bruckert and this is Six Point Brewery and we are in the process of making Hop Tech, an experimental hop IPA for Gizmodo. My name is Heather McReynolds. I'm one of the six brewers of Six Point Brewery. We are brewing Hop Tech 431 with experimental hops called HBC 431. They seem like a very, very interesting hop and we are very intrigued to use them and discover a little bit more about what this hop is all about. Uh, it has a undetermined lineage, which makes it very exciting to use. Um, it seems to be a very balanced hop with lots of citrusy notes, but also some earthy tobacco herbal notes as well, which is even more intriguing. Depending on what kind of IPA we're working on, uh, we will use different varieties of malt to either accentuate or balance out the hop flavor that we're looking for. We went for a very balanced malt profile with this bill with a couple Belgian and German malts, which will hopefully supply a nice backbone of maltiness for this hop. We have just gotten done mashing in the Gizmodo beer. And what's going on at the moment, the grain comes down this pipe, it enters a vessel called the mash tun. And in the mash tun, the starches are going to be converted, the starches in the grain are going to be converted into fermentable sugars for the yeast to consume. Once this is done being converted, we're going to take all this very sugary sweet wort, we're going to separate it from the grain and go into our kettle right over here. And in the kettle, this wort is going to be boiled for about an hour. Hops are going to be added, bitterness is going to be extracted, the wort's going to be sterilized. And once this process is done, uh, we're going to cool the beer so that we can pitch yeast into it. You know, we really want to get a lot of the aroma preserved in an IPA. The whole notion of uh, creating a beer with an experimental hop is something that uh, came to us thinking about uh, what would a, a beer of the future might taste like, what that might look like. Um, a big part of the flavor profile of beers is the hops. Of course, there's many different kinds of hops, and the way that those are uh, grown and created is actually something that people don't know very much about, but it's something that our hop growing partners are always innovating with. The beer will be fermented, we'll get an idea of what it tastes like, we'll, uh, we'll add some extra dry hops for some more aroma, we'll uh, find the beer, we'll finish it, we'll carbonate it and we'll keg it and hopefully after uh, two and a half weeks we'll have a, we'll have a tasty beverage on our hands. Right now I feel like I'm getting sort of a floral honey-ish 
type aroma off of it, you know? It's not quite tropical. It's really nice, really interesting. You know, I think this hop definitely can stand alone in an IPA. Sure. Right. So it's not